YouTube, today we are breaking out the top five loadouts for beginning players in Call of Duty Warzone. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so anyone that hasn't been to one of my top five loadout videos before, essentially what we're going to be breaking down today is five loadouts and I'm going to give you guys a couple different options that you can run instead of those guns because obviously there's so many guns in this game that there's more than 10 guns that can be efficient in that. So I'll give you more than 10 guns today, but I'll show you guys two specific guns that work well together and why they work so good for beginning players. These are also classes that can be used for high level pro players or low level players because at the end of the day, Warzone skill gap isn't that big but there is certain weapons that are easier for beginners and honestly you can take those beginning weapons and put them on a pro player and they're going to make them look even better because they're just so consistent so if you guys are new here today make sure you guys do drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here so you guys can find your way back for more content and comment below guys if there's any gun that you think i missed on there because i think i hit pretty much the easiest weapons to use in warzone let's go alrighty guys so the first class that we have today is gonna be the PKM and the MP7 the reason I throw these two together is because they do two things really well there's absolutely no recoil on both guns and they both have very good clip sizes and just you can't miss like just straight up if you are somewhat aiming towards someone you're gonna hit people because there's just so many bullets so if you're in a 1v1 situation you're not gonna worry about running out of bullets by any means so the PKM build that we like to run on here is the monolithic with the extended barrel three times you can put the corp hollow on here if you prefer if you like to put the blue dot on it or whatnot obviously if you're a beginner you probably don't have the blue dot because it is a little bit experienced players to really unlock that because you have to hit a bunch of headshots but this build here essentially guys has absolutely no recoil and the stipple grip here gives you a little bit faster ads speed so at the end of the day you get a big magazine with no recoil and one of the fastest time to kill guns in the entire game and then I think this is like number five or six right now on the SMG uh, time to kill list. So it's right in the middle. You get a 60 round mag, which is the biggest mag of any SMG other than the PPSH. But no one runs that big of a mag on the PPSH. The reason you run the 60 round mag on this, because the ADS speed really isn't that affected between the 50 and the 60. So on this one, guys, you get good range and a big mag and zero recoil. So at the end of the day, they both do the same thing. But. They're very consistent weapons and very high tiered weapons right now. Like very, very simple to use and anyone can get this done. Let's go on to number four. All right, you guys in loadout number four today, we are running the Swiss with the AK-47. So as everyone knows, everyone likes to snipe. Sniping is always fun, no matter if you're playing multiplayer or Warzone. Because Warzone, honestly, the reason it got so successful was the sniping was so fun off the bat. And then they nerfed thermal scopes. And there's a, there's a big line of history in sniping in this. And I love sniping. I literally posted a quick scoping video the other day. And I posted a Dragunov gameplay. Do not use a Dragunov if you're a new player. Do not ever touch that gun. But... Right now, the Swiss is probably the best, if not the second best sniper. I think it's the second best sniper, but the chest damage on it is much higher than the Car 98K. If you're a beginner, I'm gonna expect you to hit less headshots and more chest shots, so I prefer you to use the Swiss K31 here. This build right here gives you the best ADS speed, and honestly, the ADS speed for me is the big thing because if you're not in a great position, because if you're new to the game, you probably aren't going to be, you can aim down sight quickly and hopefully hit a shot. Obviously, you might miss if you are new, but it's something that is there for you. Some people would say you want to throw the HDR on here because it has a little less bullet drop. But at the end of the day, I think the HDR is so clunky and so hard to use at the end if you're not in like a standstill position. This gun right here, if you're in a moving position, you can make anything happen. Or if you're standing still, you can make it happen. So I think it's just a little bit easier to use. And then we have the AK-47, which you guys have been around the channel recently. This is my favorite, absolute favorite secondary to snipers right now. It has good range. Very to fast time to kill, especially if you sneak a couple headshots in and it has good movement on it. So at the end of the day, you cannot go wrong with this build. I think that the only thing I would maybe substitute for this would be the Car 98K. If you guys do like to snipe with that, if sniping's your thing, these are going to be your two best snipers. I prefer these and show people these snipers every day that these are the two best snipers in the game. And it doesn't change whether you're a new player or or an experienced player because at the end of the day the hdr and those kind of guns i don't think they're any better than these in any situation right now so these are the two snipers i would recommend if you guys are new here i do do a lot of sniping and it is extremely fun in warzone so i do really want you guys to give a go to this swiss and ak-47 build let's go on to loadout number three for loadout number three guys we're gonna call this the no recoil ar so right now the far has gotten nerfed at one point but 
it still has a very competitive time to kill. It doesn't have a great headshot multiplier, which is irrelevant to new players because new players aren't going to be shooting for headshots that often. So if you hit people in the chest, it still has a very good time to kill and it has no recoil. So this build here has a good ADS speed. It's got a good no recoil build for you guys that is very simple for any player to use. And then you combo it up with, you guys will be surprised on this, some of the people that have been around the channel. The LC-10. I've always loved the LC-10. It kind of gets some hate because the time to kill isn't the fastest when it comes to some of the SMGs right now, especially after the Season 4 Reloaded nerf. But if, if you use this gun, it's just easy. Just at the end of the day, it is a very simple gun to use. You can swap it out for maybe the Bullfrog if you guys want, and I can show you a Bullfrog build. But at the end of the day, these two guns, if you want to compare them together, they do good damage to the chest. But if you sneak a headshot in, they do a lot of damage. And neither of them have any recoil i think the lc10 is just a little bit easier to use at the end of the day and has better range in my opinion so i really think this is a very good beginner one it also has a very good hip fire as well so you can really get away with this great movement best of both worlds and it's just a simple class to use like i said these are beginner classes and no recoil on either guns not the fastest time to kills but pretty solid like some people would probably recommend the growl this has a faster time to kill than the growl right now so i think this is a better situation and right now the lc10 like i said cannot go wrong with so let's go on to number two and going on to number two today guys the m4a1 and the jack 12. so i want to just show you guys the shotgun first so you can put multiple shotguns in this situation. I think the Jack-12 is probably the best shotgun in the game right now. The Gallo, I think, has a little bit more range on it, but you get the 20-round mag with this, so it's a little bit more friendly to beginners. And it's just, this gun, it's basically a two-tap, maybe a three-tap if you're in like close proximity of someone, but you don't really have to worry. Shotguns are super easy to use in this game. You can switch this one out with, like I said, the Gallo, the Street Sweeper, um, basically any shotgun like they're all pretty viable right now for the most part but i would say stick around those three if you're going to pick any three to level up or whatnot i wouldn't waste my time with the other shotguns they've all been kind of nerfed at one point or another even the new marshall they just put in the game today is horrible don't waste your time doing that use the jack 12 i think it is probably the most consistent shotgun out of them all right now and then i threw the m4a1 on here it's always been one of my favorites it's been the swiss army knife of warzone it's been broken it's been nerfed and then it's never been out of the meta completely like you could always pick up this gun and use it it's never been just absolutely destroyed like the growl has got absolutely destroyed at some point this gun it always just hangs around the middle and then eventually i think it's going to probably find its way towards the top again because it has good range it's good up close like so if you find yourself in a short range situation it does well and then if you want to you can even throw a three time scope on here and like the vlk three times here and you can use it at long range it's a very consistent weapon and that's why we've seen it come out in the meta for about six to eight months when the game first came out and then they've unleashed so many other guns and they've kind of forgotten about it a little bit but it's very consistent guys you cannot go wrong with this gun at the end of the day the rec recoil on it can get a little funky at long range but it's very simple to use i prefer and tell anyone to use this gun at any point in time let's go on to the last loadout and the number one loadout here today guys is going to be the krig and mac 10. so for number one here it's a little bit higher skill gap the only reason i say that is because the Krig, at the end of the day, has no recoil, kind of like the Fara. but if you can hit headshots and upper body shots, this gun absolutely fries. So it is probably the best AR in the game right now. It got a slight nerf last week, but there's no, no difference in it, honestly. I've tested it out and I've used it and there's like the slightest difference in the entire world in like one situation where you're really far away and like it doesn't happen very often. So I haven't really noticed any changes in it. It feels very good. Very good ADS speed, no recoil, phenomenal. But this is where this this loadout is a little tough. The Mac 10, it's hard to unlock if you have only Warzone. And if you haven't unlocked it already and you have Cold War option, go do it on Cold War. It's easier to unlock it there. But this weapon here has basically no recoil, but it is a very, very, very high fire rate weapon. So it is easy to just accidentally miss some shots or just let the gun get a little out of control on you. I always say it has no recoil. People like to argue with me that there is recoil. There's no recoil on this gun at the end of the day. It's got good range, great movement. You can actually make it the fastest moving gun in the game with the right attachments on it. But I think this one right here gives you the perfect amount of strafe speed to the perfect amount of movement speed. You really just cannot go wrong. 
The only gun I would really substitute this with would probably be like the PPSH right now because I think they're both like one of the top guns in the game. If you guys haven't seen my SMG tier list, I did do that just a couple of days ago. You can guys go check that out on the channel. I think that those are some of my favorite videos I make, the tier lists. I know a lot of you guys love them too, so I definitely would recommend checking that out. If you guys want to see where some of these SMGs lie and what the builds are for them, I always drop the link for my loadouts guide and everything in the description of those videos. So, guys, those are the builds today. I think the MAC-10 is just so good at number one and like i think it actually is probably the best smg in the game right now that or the ots9 i would not recommend the ots9 though to someone that is new to the game because you just run out of ammo really quick and you have to hit upper body shots to really make it that efficient so this gun is just easy guys you hit chest shots you hit upper body shots you if you're right up on top of people you can hip fire them i mean it's the best it's a jack of all trades smg at the end of the day but that is going to be all the guns and loadouts today, guys. I hope this does help out some players out there. I know there is a lot of players that are just getting in the war zone or will be getting in the war zone here soon. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys do drop a subscription or subscribe to the channel, whatever you want to call it, a sub. It really does help out the channel. We just hit 10K this month, and it's super exciting times here for the channel. Like the video if you guys haven't already, and comment below. Help out the algorithm a little bit. Let's get this out to all the new players and help as many people as possible. Appreciate the heck out of you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day and peace out.